To solve this system of linear equations, we'll place these values into a matrix. So what we do is we take the coefficients for the first equation, 3, 6 and negative 3, placing them in row 1, and then the constant on the right hand side makes the end of row 1. You can see here with the colours that we can match the second equation to row 2 and the third equation to row 3. Our next aim is to reduce the matrix to the stage where we have zeros in the bottom left hand corner. And we'll start by doing the first entry in row 2 and the first entry in row 3 and make those into zeros. Row 3 is reasonably straightforward. We just do row 3 values minus all the values in row 1 and that will reduce our first entry to zero. And row 2 is a little bit more complicated but still quite straightforward in a number calculation. We'll do 3 lots of row 2 minus 4 lots of row 1. It would be wise to pause here to see if you agree with the resulting rows from these row operations. To make life easier for ourselves, what we'll do is we'll divide everything in row 2 by negative 30 and everything in row 3 by negative 4. Remember these just represent equations and if we perform the same operation to both sides of an equation, the equation remains true. Again it would be wise to pause to see if you agree with the next step. So now to achieve a zero in the second entry of row 3, you can see it's very simple. We just do all the entries in row 3 minus the entries in row 2. And our last row becomes all zero with 1 in the last entry. So we need to ask ourselves what that means. Our last row indicates the equation 0x plus 0y plus 0z is equal to 1. Or the left hand side becomes 0 so that the equation is 0 equals 1. So we now have a case where 0 is equal to some non-zero number. That doesn't make sense. That means that there are no solutions in this situation. So what does that actually mean? Remembering that these equations represent planes rather than lines, two planes could intersect at an infinite number of points. But if we introduce a third plane, there's no common point of intersection for all three planes. So a last row in the matrix of all zeros with a non-zero number in the last entry means that there are no solutions to this system of equations.